translating words into algebraic equations. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you are enjoying this journey of understanding how to write expressions, equations and solving system of equations. With the help of this example, we'll actually solve an age problem with two equations. Now to start with, we have a let statement. It says, let the present age of Alex and Ben be A and B respectively. That means A years old is Alex and Ben is B years old. Translate the following statements into equations. The first one is, Alex is five years older than Ben. That means A is more than B by five, right? So we can write this as an equation. This Alex, age of Alex is five more than B, so B plus five. But that gives us an equation, which is translation of the given statement. Alex is five year older than Ben. The second one is, after two years, Alex will be twice as old as Ben. So after two years, what is going to be the age of Alex? After two years, it will be A plus two for Alex. And for Ben, it is going to be B plus two, correct? Now it says, after two years, Alex will be twice as old. That means this is two times this, correct? So what we get here is, a plus 2 equals to 2 times B plus 2. So that is the second equation. It's kind of tricky. Remember, in each and every age problem, with time, you age, right? So you have to consider that part. After 2 years, Alex will be 2 years older, right? So it becomes A plus 2. Will be twice as old as Ben. Ben will be also B plus 2, right? So twice, that is how you get your equation. Part C is, solve the above equations to find present age of Alex and Ben. Present age is A and B. Now to solve this equation, what we can do is, we can follow the method of substitution. So the first equation we have gives us the value of A in terms of B. We can substitute this value in the second equation. So what we will do is, we'll sub 1 in 2. So if I do that, that means instead of A, I'll write B plus 5. What do I get? I get B plus 5 equals plus 2. So instead of A, I wrote B plus 5. Plus 2 equals to 2 times B plus 2. So that is what we get. So we are using both the equations to solve for the variables a and b. Now let's rearrange these equations. So we have first let's combine. So b plus 7 is equals to 2 times b plus 2 times 2 is 4. So we can now rearrange. We can take away b from this side and 4 from both the sides. So what we will do is to solve it further we can actually take away b from both the sides, right? And we can take away 4 also, right? So we'll take, take away 4. We'll take away 4 also. So if we do that, what do we get? So if I take away 4, so let me write down this equation here. I get 7 minus 4 equals to 2b minus b, correct? 4 minus 4 is 0 and b minus b is 0. So we are left with 7 minus 4 equals to 2b minus b. 7 minus 4 is 3 and 2b minus b is b. So b is 3. So that becomes our equation number 3. We know that Ben is 3 year old. If Ben is 3 years old, what is the age of Alex? Alex is Ben plus 5. So it is 3 plus 5, which is 8. Right? So Alex is 8 years old. Correct? Therefore, now you can write down your answer. So the answer is for Alex, present age is 8 years. 
and for Ben it is three years. So that is how you can first write your equations for the given statements, simultaneously solve them, we prefer the method of substitution this time, and get your answer. So that is how you can solve these questions. Thank you.